Let us go to the second part of the video. So we don't want to repeat the same part twice here. Let us go to the second reason he says the Bible is not the word of God. Okay. Tuhan menyesal menciptakan manusia di muka bumi ini. Six. Ini cerita tentang and God's regret create mankind on earth. Dia kata Tuhan menyesal menciptakan manusia di muka bumi ini. Berarti Tuhan dah cipta manusia tiba-tiba silap cipta budak Cina ni. <laughs> so he's saying in the Bible in, in Genesis chapter 6 verse number 6 it says that God he regret and he is saying so God saying he made a mistake listen apa maksud menyesal menyesal berarti tak ada ilmu masa depan sudah buat when you are great, that's mean you do not know the future. I like that. I want the Muslim to take a note of this. When you are great doing something, it's mean you do not know the future. To make it simple, and I agree with him, by the way, in, 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 in such a, a statement, that the word regret is obviously that you did something you, don't, you should not do. This is what the word regret coming with. But this is what the Bible says. We will get him busted in a second. So he made a mistake and he regret doing that mistake. And what is the mistake? Is it creating this Chinese boy? Is that what he said? Ayah, silap betul. Saya nak tanya. Menyesal ni sifat Tuhan ke sifat manusia? Regret is the nature of the human or the nature of God. Kalau sifat manusia, it's siapa human. yang tulis ayat ini? Manusia, itulah buat saya susah nak terima. So it's hard for me to accept this verse. Let us get this Abdul Bastard. First of all, the Bible says it clearly that God don't regret, God don't repent, God don't, none of this have to do with God. When the verse you are reading for us about Genesis, you idiot, is saying that God, he felt sorry for mankind. He created them for a reason and look what they did to themselves. Those cowards, they don't even read the verse. And God, he saw the wickedness of the man was a great on earth. And that every imagination of thoughts of his heart was only evil like I mean so describing for you how God he felt for those people he created he created them to live in heaven and look what they are doing to themselves I remember we in Christianity we don't believe in destiny so God don't deny to Adam to commit sin he do not deny as a stupid Islam that you are going to do adultery he do not deny that you do sin because Allah want to have fun so when God here he says that he regret what happened to the human being he is feeling sorry for the human being is not about a decision he made. And the word here can be translated in a different way. It says like, uh, 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 you know, uh, he feels sorry, he regret, uh, uh, and it repented the Lord. So this is an interpretation of or explanation of how God, he felt for the human being. Look what they did. Now I'm going to destroy them. Now I want to go with him in what he said and let us see what will happen to Islam then. Did your God Allah, regarding the same story, he said the same thing? Is it Allah he destroyed Noah, people? Why? Because he regret his creation. When Allah he made the flood of Noah, when you build something, when you are God and you build something, and then you destroy what you build it, that's mean you regret building it. Otherwise, why he killed them? In the Bible, regret and here have nothing to do with regret.
of God as God regretting his decision to create. In the Quran it is, and we will show you the reference. The God of the Bible, he felt sorry. Sorrow for those people I created to live happy, to be in heaven. And look what they did to themselves. So if we go and we read the book of Numbers, chapter 23, verse number 19, we will see that God is not a man who should lie. It's not the nature of God. And he is not born of any man, and that is the same as Jesus. Even though Jesus, he called himself son of man because he come in the nature of a man, but he is not the son of any man. And the, and the Quran agree with that, that Mary, she have no man as a partner. Therefore, Jesus is not the son of any man that he should repent. You see it? Or regret. This is the Bible too. So how come you saw that you did not see this? Because you are a copy paste of Ahmad Didat, you are a potato. So God, he did not regret as a decision he made. God, he felt sorry for what he will do to them and the penalty and the punishment. The same what happened when the Jews, they've been taken uh, uh, into a slavery. God, he felt sorry for them. And then you will see that your God, Allah, he felt sorry for his creation and he regret creation, starting from the people of Noah and the people of Ad and the people of Thamud and the people of Abraham. All of those, Allah, he regret creating them and that's why he destroyed them. If Allah is the one who built this creature and then Allah he destroyed that creature which he built obviously Allah he found that he ho he have a wrong decision because remember the God of Islam is a stupid God he is the one who made those people commit sin and then he is going to destroy them for committing sin the God of the Christianity he is not regretting the creation he is regretting for them what will happen as a penalty and punishment which means he feels sorry for them. Here, that does not make sense because according to the Islam, is everything is a fate, which means when a Muslim, he commits sin. When the people of Noah commit sin, when the people of Abraham commit sin, when the Jews commit sin, when the Muslim commit sin, when the Christian commit sin, according to Islam, it was a fate, it was a destiny, it was not a choice. And just to show you, a stupid repent of Allah. A clear example so Muslims can't play with it. Allah created Adam. Adam committed sin. Allah cursed Adam. Chapter 2, verse number 36. Allah, he cursed Adam. He said, get down out of it, both of you. Who? Adam and Eve, and to follow is Shaitan. So get down out of it. In the verse number 38, it's make it more clear. It says, all of you. Which means Shaitan. Adam and Eve get ye down all from here okay hold on so Allah in chapter 2 verse number 35 Allah he says okay go and sit in the heaven you and your wife Adam Satan he whispered to them and he made them eat from the tree Allah he cursed them a verse after Allah he repent he forgive Adam <laughs> you see the word regret so now what you will say you will say no uh, he felt sorry for Adam and he accepted his repentance 
So how come in that verse in the Bible, it does not go for you that way, but here it goes this way. Allah, he made a decision that Adam, you are bad. Adam, he said two words, two words to Allah. Please, Allah, forgive me. Allah, he forgave him. That's it. So what happened to the decision of Allah? So Allah, he changed. His, he regret. He regret making a decision. He changed his decision based on the situation. So did Allah feel sorry here or he regret? Do you see it, Muslims? Allah, he decided to punish Adam and Eve. Then Adam, he learned, uh, then learned Adam from his word, of inspiration and his Lord turned toward him for if returning merciful what did this translation I mean this translation is made by who who is the donkey Yusuf Ali come on this guy is stupid I mean what is this repent receiving word what is that change the idiot let us get different idiot Adam received from his uh, from his Lord words and his Lord bur burdened him. Okay, hold on. But Allah already, he said to him, get down, I punish you. Did Allah regret cursing Adam and now he changed his decision? Yes, he did. And to make it more stupid, if Allah, he burdened him, so why he kick him out of heaven still, idiot? You just burden him. I mean, he just burdened him, and Allah is all the merciful, and Allah he accepted and he forgave him, and then he said to them right away, "Get down, all of you!" Like, have you ever heard of somebody says to you, "I forgive you, get out of here"? But, but this is what you say before you forgive him. Before he forgave him, he said, "Get down." You see it? And get them out from here. This is before he forgave them. So now Allah, after a verse, he received, Adam, he received word from his God that he forgave him. Still he get him out. Did Allah regret creating Adam? Did Allah say the stupid things when he cursed Adam and later he forgave him, he changed his mind? Isn't it Allah is all knowledgeable of the future? Because this guy in the video says, God, he knew the future. So how he can regret? And let me show you another example of Allah regretting, which a Muslim cannot refute in any way, in any mean. Allah made Quran. Allah, he regret the Quran. Allah, he will fix the Quran. Have you ever heard of a stupid regret like this? Read with me carefully. Whatever a verse between two bracket revelation, we do abrogate or cause to be forgotten. Allah, he regret giving you Quran and he will cause you to forget that Quran because it's horrible. Question. Allah, he sent Quran to be forgotten or to be remembered? Any Muslim can tell me? Allah, he sent Quran down to earth to be forgotten or to be remembered. The Muslim, they say to us, we remember it by heart. Hmm? In chapter 87, verse number 6, it says, And we shall make you recite the Quran, not doesn't say by the way uh, recite it says okay make you read the Quran so that you will not forget okay did Allah change his mind did Allah regret saying these words that I will make you say Quran and I will shall make you not forget it who is a stupid here did Allah made Muhammad forget the Quran or he did not make him forget the Quran 
I'm just closing some pages. Too many pages open. Okay. So one verse says, I will never let you forget the Quran. The other verse saying, I will cause you to forget the Quran. Obviously, Allah regret saying the previous verse. This is the chapter 2, verse 106. And this is the chapter 87, verse number 6. All of them, they are miraculously, it is number 6. Did you notice that? The Muslim, they will make a miracle about it. We shall make you read the Quran and you will not forget it. Hmm. Here, whatever verses of revelation we abrogate or cause to be forgotten. Okay, we just said to Muhammad, you will never let him forget it. Did Allah regret his promise? Obviously he did. And not only that, Allah he regret making the previous Quran. Read with me carefully. We bring better one or similar well, if Allah is not regretting the previous one, how he is saying he will bring you a better one? Do you know what better mean? Better mean that the one was before it was worse. So now we understand why Allah, he caused you to forget the Quran. For he noticed that this stupid Quran, and now I regret making the Quran, and now I will make you forget the Quran, so you will not see how stupid I was, and you will not remember how funny my words was, so I'm going to make you forget what I said, for it is funny, like Mr. Bean. Have you ever heard of a God? He will cause his followers to forget what he said to them? I thought God would be upset if people forgot what he said to them. Here Allah, he wants you to forget because he regrets saying those words and now he is going to fix it and don't worry, be happy even if your girlfriend is having a new boyfriend. I'm going to give you a better one. Have you ever heard of a God he is going to make Quran better than the Quran? What kind of logic this logic is? When Allah, he said, I'm going to give you a better one. He's talking about better Quran. Why Allah, he went to school and he got better Arabic training. He is now older, wiser. So Allah, he regret making the first Quran and now I'm going to make the second Quran and now I'm going to fix it by some, giving you something better. And here we have to ask ourselves a question. How the better Quran work for you Muslims? And where is the bad Quran? Hey Muslims, who can recite for me the forgotten verses of the Quran? Hey Muslims, aren't you the one who says the Quran is preserved? When you God himself saying to you, I make you forget Quran. But we know what happened here. The stupid Muhammad cannot recite the verse twice. So in the morning he says something, afternoon he says something, and then people they say to him, What are you talking about? You said different thing in the morning. So Muhammad had to come with excuse, don't worry, be happy. Allah he calls me, forget it, and Allah will give me something better, and he make it big poop by saying similar. How stupid is that to make you forget the verse and give you something similar? So what the point? Allah regret? Who is here really forgetting the Quran? Is it Allah or Muhammad? All of this is a form of regret. Do Allah knew the future? The guy he said in the video, God should know the future. Okay, well, do God know the future that his verse, those verses are bad? Don't God, he knew the future that I'm going to cause them forget it. So why he said it first of all anyway? What is the point? What is the point? I do what the point? What the point? So now I send you Quran and I make you recite the Quran and, 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 and tell you to preserve the Quran. And I promise you, you never forget the Quran. And then after two weeks, I will say to you, I will make you forget all what I said to you. Who is this stupid here?
So when those people they make a statement, we laugh. It's just a stupid silly. They don't, you know, this guy he is like a camel who don't see his hump. He don't see how big the hump is in the top of his head. And I like it when he says that do God know the future? You God don't know not the future. We can prove it. Not only now, we prove it with this. We can prove it with 10 examples.